let's get started. Please welcome all the way from Somerset. It's Kev. All right, Kev. Look at that shirt. Come on, Kev. Yeah. All right. Now then, what do we make of Kev? I'm making a guess. Young farmer. What do you do for a well, living? Because I'm from Somerset, you mean? Yeah. Well, I'm from Devon, so I think. It's from, uh, <laughs> Somerset. No, I work for a big bank in home insurance. Okay. Do you like quizzing, though, Kev? I do. Yeah, I set a quiz for the local golf club once a month. Nice. What hobbies you got, Kev? Um, I record audio books, actually. Oh, so right, okay. I've done seven or eight of those now. Yeah, so. good. Excellent stuff. All right. And if you were to win some money tonight, what would you like to do with it? So, I'm recording audio books. Yeah. I'd, I'd like a a booth that I can isolate right. myself from the world. Yeah. So I have to kind of hide under a duvet and stuff at the yeah, moment yeah, to do yeah, it, course, which yeah. is all a bit of a In like, faff. Uh, all right, well, listen, uh, you're going to need some money, of course. I wish you luck to get that booth. I Thank really you. Do. All right, so I'll ask you five multiple-choice questions. Each correct answer is worth a grand. You know the rules. You get them right, we keep going until you get one wrong. Get the first one wrong, you're out. You ready? Yeah. Let's play. I wish you luck. Here comes your first question. The word humidity comes from the Latin meaning what? A, be hot. B, be moist. C, be angry. What do you reckon? I don't know, no. but I think it must be B, be moist. Water, you know, moisture in the air. Sure, I get it. Is that the right answer? Dixon? I, I was confused because all three of those are things that happen to me when the humidity is high. Ah! Very angry. Right, OK. All right, £1,000. Here's your next question. It is jokingly said of footballer Luis Suarez that he is so good he could nutmeg a what? A. Dragon. B. Unicorn. C. Mermaid. Ha-ha! <laughs> what do you reckon? Well, I'm assuming it, for it to be really clever, it would have to nutmeg someone who doesn't have any legs. <laughs> Therefore, a mermaid. Gotcha. I understand. All right. So, you say mermaid. Is that the right answer? <laughs> Brilliant. Two grand. Here's the next question. In the British Army, which of these units contains the fewest troops? A, platoon, B, company, or C, section? Now then, what do you reckon? I think that's C, section. I never had that. I'm not sure, but I think section. Is that the right answer? <laughs> Three grand, C, section, well done. OK, here's the next question. What is the last word of James Joyce's book, Ulysses? A, yes. B, <laughs> no. C, maybe. All right, what do you reckon? I've not read it. I don't think anyone's actually read it all the way to the end. <laughs> Although they might have peaked at the last page. So I am going to say yes. A book of that length, quite honestly, if it ends in the word maybe, that's not the book you want to be reading. <laughs> Is yes the right answer? <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> How long is it? Anne, you've probably read this, haven't you? The last seven words are, yes, I said yes, I will, yes. Wow. Four grand. OK, let's go for it, see if we can get five questions right. Good luck, here's your next one. Thank you. How many astronauts walked on the moon in 1969? A, two, B, four, C, six. Apollo 11 was July. Woohoo! There must have been another one that year, surely. Two astronauts each time, so I'm going to go four. Same four. It sort of makes sense. Is that the right answer? We know two for definite. <laughs> oh, it's a great answer. A full house, five questions, five down. It's now time to face the chasers. <laughs> right then. Here we go. You get 60 seconds on your clock, Kev. Chasers get 60 seconds on theirs. However, the chasers will offer you a time advantage and money. And based on those offers, you choose how many chasers you wish to take on. If you want to play for the five grand you've got in the cash build, brilliant, by the way, full house, you will take on two chasers. And those two chasers are... <laughs> the Cineman and the Vixen. We're playing for five grand. Time advantage, please. We want 44 seconds on our clock. OK, 16 second advantage. All right, if you wish to take on three chasers, though, third chaser would be, please... 
Beastie, all right. Well, I like the cut of your jib, Kev. So we want 48 seconds, but we'll offer you £20,000. 12 second advantage. Yeah. A 20 grand. If you want to take on four chasers, who's the fourth chaser, please? <laughs> All right, it's the governess. OK. We want 49 seconds on our clock, Ooh. for which we will offer you £40,000. It's a terrific offer. That's 11 second advantage. Full house. OK, Dark Destroyer. Try this for size. We want 54 seconds Ooh. for £100,000. What do you reckon? 100,000 is obviously very tempting. I don't think six seconds is enough. I think I can beat four chasers. OK, Kev, fair play to you. Four chasers for £40,000 and an 11 second advantage. That's what we're playing for. Chasers? I think you can do it. Good luck. Yeah, I think he's a good player. Kev, let's see if you can beat the chasers. Good luck. <laughs> All right, Kev, your clock will start counting down when I ask you the first question. Get it right, your clock will stop. And we go to the chasers when their clock starts. They then get a question right, it comes back to you. You run out of time before them, you go home with nothing. They run out of time before you, you take home 40k. Good luck. Your clock starts counting down now. What children's TV duo had a neighbour called Weed? Uh, Bill and Ben. Correct, chasers. What did Babe Ruth call the Come only on. real... Baseball. Correct. Kev, what are the openings of the nasal cavity called? Nostrils. Correct. Chasers Frank Lloyd Wright was famous in what profession? Mark. Architecture. Correct. Kev, the film Eyes Wide Shut came out in what decade? 90s. Correct. Chasers, a mastiff is a breed of what? Ooh, dog. Correct. Kev, in pre-decimal currency, there were how many bobs in a fiver? Uh, 100. Correct. Chasers, Coniston Waters located... Mark. Cumbria. It's Lake District. Baby One More Time was what singer's Ooh. first hit single? Britney Spears. Correct. Kev, who was the Norse god of mischief and discord? Loki. Correct. Chasers, what organic chocolate brand makes the Maya Jenny. gold? Green and Blacks. Correct. Kev, what nationality is racing driver Fernando Alonso? Spanish. Correct. Chasers, which British prince worked on an Australian cattle station? Mark. Prince Charles. It's Harry. Which director said in 63, I'm frightened of my own movies? Cool. Alfred Hitchcock. Correct. Kev, Ho Chi Minh City is in what country? Vietnam. Correct. Chasers, Malvolio is a character in what cool. Shakespeare? Twelfth Night. Correct. Kev, what delicacy has a type called Sevruga? Pass. Caviar, who went to number one in 81 with Imagine? Um, Blondie, no. John Lennon, who it. discovered the atomic nucleus in 1911? Uh, Rutherford. Correct. Chasers, Swellside Prison is located on what island in Kent? Paul. Oh. Sheppy. Correct. Kev, the novel The Scarlet Pimpernel is set during what revolution? French. Correct. Chasers, a clone by Joe Malone combines cucumber and what tea? Jenny. Um... Uh, <laughs> Sorry, guys. No, it's good. No, Conister jumped in too early. Wow. And 13 seconds to boot as well <laughs> in favour. <laughs> That was absolutely brilliant. Could he have gone for it? Could, yeah, of course yeah. he could. Yeah. yeah, he's a really, really good quizzer. To get anywhere near you, we had to take risks. Yeah. yeah. And that, unfortunately, the Coniston Water Gamble didn't come off. Paul's been very kind, because there's a golden rule, never jump in early on a geography question, because it could head in several directions. Yeah. And I broke that rule, so you're very kind, but I screwed up there. There you are, the beast eating humble pie. Kev, guess what? Take the 40 grand. You beat the chasers, mate. Well done. Thank you. Well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. What a job. Excellent.